Let's talk about head and shoulders patterns and how to draw them on TradingView. Now, just so you understand, a head and shoulders pattern is defined by a formation that looks like what we just drew. There's a shoulder here, so this is a shoulder, and there is another shoulder over here, and then the high point, which is up here, is going to be the head. And the reason why they have created this pattern, not they, but traders and investors over time, is it sort of shows this exhaustion. You know, there's a start of a trend, there's something brewing, it breaks out, goes to these highs, and then of course it fizzles a little, and then what you have is this sort of corrective formation. And the belief, or the way some people like to trade it, is they draw their shoulder, their head, their shoulder, and then a neckline right through there. And when price breaks through the neckline, they may short, or perhaps they short until the neckline's broken. And that is how they trade the head and shoulders pattern. You can also invert this, and this would be called an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So they'd have their shoulder, their head, shoulder, then there would be this neckline that goes through it like this. And the inverted head and shoulders would actually be by the breakout, by the breakout of the inverted head and shoulders pattern. Now these patterns are, uh, you know, there's no guarantee in markets ever. Uh, their success rate uh, ranges somewhere in the 50% from what we understand. But let's just get to it in this tutorial. And by the way, if you still don't understand it, the reason why it's drawn like this is just imagine we draw a person you know, here's the head, we're gonna do a smiley face, and their neck, and then there's a shoulder here, you know, that what you'll see what we're doing here, this is their hands, and then, you know, this person has some pretty rounded shoulders, as you can see, but the point is, we're just trying to show you where it comes from, and so what we've done here is we've drawn this person, because we kinda of wanna show you uh, what it means to, uh, what the head and shoulders pattern means. These are shoes, this is his pants, and then look, here's his shoulder. So we can actually just do this. We can take the shoulder and put it here, and we can take another shoulder, put it here, and then a head, and obviously that's that's that. So you see what, what, what we've done here is basically the head and shoulders pattern is meant to look like a person. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Shoulder, head, shoulder, you get the idea. All right, let's get to it. We now, you know what? We need to draw a head and shoulders pattern now. So I'm gonna clear all the drawings on this chart. And what we're going to do really is use a tool on TradingView that's designed to make it ridiculously easy to draw a head and shoulders pattern. So you should, you're gonna find this to be quite unique this head and shoulders pattern. By the way, when we do this, we're holding command on our Mac, select all, delete, just like that. Okay, head and shoulders pattern, let's get to it. If you've watched this far, good for you, because now you're about to see something really cool. Here's the patterns menu. We click this on the left side of our chart, patterns menu, and we'll see a number of different patterns. As you see, we have Elliott wave formations, cyclic lines, time cycles, all of this is here for you, and then there's head and shoulders. And if we click this tool, this tool is literally designed for you to draw a head and shoulders pattern and plan a trade or an investment around it. So we're just gonna quickly show you how that looks, as you can see. Then we'll walk through the basics, and that would be the neckline. See how easy that was? That happened in less than 20 seconds, 30 seconds. We'll go through this again. Over in the patterns menu, click, there's a head and shoulders tool, select it. Now the first thing you wanna do is draw the left shoulder. Start from the left and work your way to the right. So you have to identify the shoulder, which is really important. And if you remember, we identified this as the first shoulder, this formation here. It's kind of rounding, you see it rounding almost, rounding top in a way. So what we're going to do is grab this head and shoulders pattern and we're going to pick a starting point and click. And you can already see left shoulder. Now we're going to drag this left shoulder up to the high of that of the left shoulder and click again. Now this is where we're gonna define the neckline. We're going to take the tool down 
to what we believe is the neckline. So when this area breaks, you know, the bearish sentiment is on. We click again. So we've finished the left shoulder. And now, as you can see, it says head. It's because now we're starting the next formation, which is the head. Drag this up to the highs as we see it. Click again. And now, as you can see, see how it's filling in? You see how it's, you know, the, the head and shoulders pattern now is filling in? Because what we're, what we're doing now is we're defining the neckline. And it fills in when the neckline connects all of these points. So you can see it's filled in. And see the dotted line. So you'll see if we connect the neckline, if we make it so that it runs through each point, the left shoulder's filled and the head's in. Watch what happens if watch what happens if we move the neckline too high, the left shoulder's no longer fill in. So you see that? Watch the left shoulder fills. Too high, not filled. Now we know. So this is one way we know that we're matching up the neckline. Click again. Now we're beginning the right shoulder, which we've identified it as this move here, and we click. Then we, we take the tool down, and what we're going to do is look at the neckline. Here it is. We could draw this out as long as it's going through the neckline. And we are going to click again to define it as right here. Done. And our head and shoulders pattern has been drawn. We see it's filled. Our neckline, you know, if you still don't understand, that's this. See this dotted line going through it? That's the neckline. The neckline is the point that connects each phase of the head and shoulders pattern so it's just this it's this horizontal line going through that connects the entire pattern and one way people trade the head and shoulders pattern is when the neckline breaks it means it's a short or in that case sell uh, sometimes it can be a fake out though as you see it broke through and snapped back rather fast so you sometimes have to be quick with these formations and patterns now, one more really helpful tip with the head and shoulders pattern tool or the head and shoulders tool is if you double click or right click, you can customize this tool to your liking. So as you see, it says label here. Well, that's going to be left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If we click bold, now they're bold. If we do this to 24, now it's rather huge. This is just for you to find the perfect layout for your drawing techniques. You can also change the colors as you just watch the color of this text change. I'm just going to click through. As you can see, it happens fast. It's fluid. It's easy. It's totally up to you. Let's keep it white for now. The border. Now, this is really important because if you have specific design techniques or styles you're looking for, this border is going to change the border of the, the border and the fill of the head and shoulders tool. So, if, for example, we do this blue, it's the blue background, and look at the color of the line, the border, it's blue. And the neckline here, it's blue. So watch the line, watch the border line as we change the colors. You can see it's all changing in sync, in unison, super easy. Let's keep this uh, black for now. And then lastly is background. This is how we know when the head and shoulders pattern neckline has been connected at each point. And we're going to adjust this background. So maybe we want to make it fit our design style or the feel of the trade. Perhaps we think it's rather bearish, so we can really hammer that point home by making this red. Or perhaps we just think it's a fluid formation to watch and be aware of, so we can just keep it a light blue and not have much fill. We're changing the opacity. So that's the head and shoulders pattern tool, and we hope that you enjoy it. Remember, uh, we gave a quick intro about the head and shoulders pattern at the start of this video. And then, of course, we introduced you to the head and shoulders tool, which makes it fast, easy, and just uh, really a, almost self-explanatory on how to draw head and shoulders on any chart. It's one more time over here. It says patterns. Click to open this menu. Head and shoulders pattern tool. Select it. Click your starting point to start drawing the left shoulder. Once you've drawn the left shoulder, begin to draw the head. Connect the neckline, and you'll see that when the fill changes. Click again. Start the right shoulder, and once you finish the right shoulder, click again to connect it to the neckline, and you have it. Thank you for watching. We hope this video helped.